Good morning. Uh, this is a bit of additional information on setting up the 16 channel recorder, the NVR16 uh, IQ. It's a little bit different from the 8 channel. The basic idea is that this one has two internal network cards. Uh, one is the card that connects to your network, that's LAN 1, and LAN 2 addresses the eight internal PoE ports. So you can have up to eight internal cameras and then have another eight cameras through PoE injectors or PoE switches into your general purpose network. I'll show you how that works now. So you can see that on LAN 1 I've got that set up with DHCP. This is my modem router here and this is the IP address that we've got for our NVR. If I go over to my LAN 2 port you can see that internally I've chosen a different static IP address. In this case I've chosen something you probably wouldn't come across on an everyday basis and a gateway here for that one. Uh, these addresses here are up to you. It's whatever IP address you want to have. It benefits a, an installer if you go out to a job site with the cameras already pre-installed. You've got all of them set up. Uh, you've got eight of them at least set up here on the NVR ready to go. And you don't need to know what the IP address range of your particular customer's uh, modem router is. There we go. So we've got those ones set up that way. But these can be any address that you choose. A um, more common way to do it was, would be if I've got 192.168.1 for my subnet here, I would choose in here 192.168.2. something as my address. So let's move over to the channel settings. Now I've got two cameras connected to this unit at the moment. One of them is connected directly into the back of the unit and the other one is connected through a PoE injector into my modem router. So let's just do a quick search and because I know they're our cameras, can see that there are the i8, i8Hs or onvifs. Alright, so when this list finishes up, it's got a few seconds left, you can see here that we've got two different network card interfaces here, and I've got two individual cameras. Now if I take away the onvif one, and just for complexities take away i8H as well, either one of these will work, but let's just make it simpler to see. We've got one of these connecting directly through the LAN port, and the other one connecting through the LAN 2. Now you can see that I already had this one set up and adjusted here, so what I'm going to do is just to mess with myself, change to LAN 2, and I'm going to change this address. 192.168.2.100. And this one, change the corresponding gateway address to match. 192.168.2. Dot one in this case. I'm going to save that down the bottom. We've saved that. Go back to my channel settings and I'm going to do that search again. Now I'm only searching this time for i8 rather than for i8h and onviv altogether. Depending on the cameras you have, you may wish to search for the other protocols as well. And you can see there they are. So this one, the camera is still set where it was, and this one is where the camera was set up from before. If I click modify the IP address when add channel and add all. I'm going to force to modify my IP address and you can see that through LAN 1 they will start looking at subnet, well at port, well IP address in fact, 192.168.1.100 and from LAN 2 they'll look for 192.168.2.100 and if we start the recording now, so what should happen now is as these ones are added over onto this side you can see that we've got one is happy being at 101 on subnet 1 and the second one, we've had that one changed over and you can see that that's adjusted and changed in both sides here. If I go to my preview screen, sure enough, now I've got one of these pointing at the ceiling, one of them pointing at the chairs, so that's not the most exciting view today, but that's exactly how it works. And you can see in your channel sequence over here exactly what IP addresses these are on. And if you go into your channel settings and into channel groupings, you can actually group these channels and add structure to your network and show which one is in which place. Beautiful. We're all set. Hope that helps.